Okay, Coach Hill. So six matches to four tonight versus uh, Wisconsin. They got you with some bonus, right? Yeah, their hammers hammered us. They're tough, tough wrestlers. Okay, um, the Fighting Scots fight. We know that. So we know the Fighting Scots are always going to fight, right? Yeah. When we talk about that, was the fight there that you wanted tonight? Even with, with when their hammers hammer you, right? Yeah. I think we fought. I, I think we uh, just didn't fight at their tense intensity sometimes so we wanted to fight the effort was there it was just we just didn't know how to match their intensity at times so that was that was kind of some of the, the things i looked at and hopefully we can learn from those the ones that i got positives out of tonight spalding spalding yeah. roll with helger man yeah he can roll um you know but he's you know kind of couldn't couldn't create any offense or anything but he's he's learning learning how to wrestle top level guys so i'm happy with spalding but he's you know, only so much you can do with just hand fighting, you know, one attack off it too. So that's important. When we look at Mulligan, Mulligan has to develop some type of go-to shot, but doesn't seem like he has a go-to shot yet. He's young though. Yeah, he does. We've talked about it a lot. We'll we'll have to hit the hit the mat and figure out something that's going to get him there. And we talk about it a lot where, you know, hey, we got to learn how to get through the hands. So he just tries to muscle some things, and we got to learn how to not do that. I think if you guys get him a, a go-to shot at, or an attack to each side. He's right there. Yeah, he is. He's a top he 25 guy, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, no, he is. Um, he knows how to win. He knows how to compete with the best guys. He's, we just got to learn how to, um, you know, get to, get through the arms and get to a leg and finish fast. Okay, Oliver. I don't know if I've seen a bigger Pennsylvania junkyard dog in my life. First thing, what happened on the edge of the mat when the guy had him dead to rights double that was over by your bench? Yeah. And the guy just, like, stopped wrestling, <laughs> fell on his back, and he spun score. What did he do? Did he stuff him with his hips? What even happened? I didn't even. I don't know if it was do you know a, what I'm talking about? I don't about? know if the kid slipped and his shoulders. I'm not. Yeah, his shoulder that. went out. Or his, yeah, yeah, right. It was just some good hard pressure, hard wrestling, and just kind of like a, the you know the angles and leverage didn't work out in Wisconsin's favor. So, uh, yeah, you know, all the wrestles hard. If we can get get him focused and get some more baseline defense, and I was happy actually. Usually when he, some guys get on his legs, he usually lets some pops up. So he's learning how to get more baseline. Um, Everybody knows his one shot's coming, so we got to develop the other side or, or open open guys up better. So. You look at your 125. Your 125 is going to be a top 33 guy. Luke, he can do it. Lucas is awesome. I love the people. Florida kid who must not have visited here in winter. Yeah. I question him slightly, but Lucas is progressing every day. I mean, he plays once in the state of Florida, sixth place. So are you serious? Yeah. So Lucas is a is is awesome kid. He's working hard. Um, he's maturing. Um, I got to know Lucas throughout, you know, my first year last year. A lot of ups and downs with him. Hopefully, we can keep him going forward. So he he keeps getting better every day. And kid loves wrestling. So long, as long as you love wrestling, work hard. Um, I, I I want those guys on my team. Peter Pappas looked like he was back to form tonight, but he's just like he has these weird lapses where he can like ice the match and he lets the guy stay in the match. Yeah, Pete's got to learn how to ice some matches and, and uh, really you know, control his, his uh, anxiety or, you know, conditioning or something. Cause sometimes you, you wonder what's going on with them. Uh, we got to evaluate what's going on with him before or after the match and how we can stop. The, I don't know if he's tired or his anxiety he's thinking about too much. So we got to adjust to Pete cause Pete can wrestle. We just got to get him in the right place. He can absolutely wrestle. Yeah, Pete, Pete's a wrestler. So he's got the passion. So we got a lot of young fighters. We got a lot of stuff to figure out and learn. All right, Farndell, we talked about this last week. Yeah. If he had a slow start, he wasn't going to be out there very long. Yeah, I mean, he, he faced an opponent. Guys just did his thing, so I don't know what to do. we we, we got to learn how to not let that happen. And clearly, he's you know one of the best guys in the country on top, but we got to learn how not to let that happen dude, so easily. All right, did you guys feed off that crowd? Did you feed off that energy? Was this what you thought it would be? Yeah, it was pretty good experience. Um, you know, for the most part, when you go into a battle like this, you just got to learn from it. Um, you know, they're, they're a really well-coached, tough team, so we have to learn how to wrestle at their intensity and their level. And um, we're not there yet. We have a long way to go. So and we're going to have a lot of ups and downs. But if we can stay consistent and learn from mistakes and keep getting better day by day, I think we can compete with anybody. All right. Uh, were you bummed out about the forfeit at 197? Um, the I guys hurt. Well, so. you know, obviously you want to have you know, someone wrestle, but then I then I talked to the trainer and I said his eyeball is really bad and he just, you know, maybe he was going to wrestle, maybe he wasn't. So I, that's that's that was in the trainer's hands. I can't do anything about it. So yeah, bummed out, but hey, we got we got to uh, you know safety first, I guess. Will you guys keep doing events like this? 
Yeah, we'll try to do something like this, um, you know, next year. We just gotta, you know, it's all planning and making things, you know, fit in the right pieces. So we'll, we'll do more events like this. So I think it's good for the community, good for, uh, you know, just the, the overall um, wrestling community um, in Pennsylvania. All right. You got anything else for me? No, thanks for coming, Zeb. And um, we have a long journey this season, so I'm excited to see how these guys keep progressing. We, we are getting better, so it's fun to see our guys get yeah, I know. better. better so. I, I know. I watch you week to week. Yeah, so it's fun. Do you know that? I watch you week no to way. week. No way. You watch wrestling? I watch a little bit of wrestling. <laughs> I watch a little bit of wrestling. All right. Thanks for the time. Burrow built. Thanks for coming, Zeb. Go Burrow. We'll be at some other events. Yep. Come and on. And keep on grinding, up. Coach, yep. all right? Thanks, buddy.